<laughs> note the technique. What's that? I said note the technique. <laughs> that wide stance. Catch your breath, my friend. Okay, catch my breath. We got a pretty good section. I'd say what? Maybe like 30 feet? Yeah, I'd say 30. With the, with the curve, that's plenty. I yeah. mean, if, if you're grinding that far, you're stoked. Yeah, even if it's 50-50, you're like, wee! Yeah, so this will at least get it started. My hope, I don't want to like, not that I want to blow this spot up. But it'd be cool if this became a curve spot. It'd be cool if this became a spot because then it's going to get its maintenance. People are going to like rub brick more sections. Then people are going to start waxing other sections. Yeah. Then they're going to wax the top so you can do lips. Yeah. Like it'll, it'll evolve. Yeah. So, so my hope is that this kind of like sets it off. Yeah. Do you want me to put the pin in the location in the bio? No, not that far. <laughs> so now we're going to hit it with this guy. Just right on the edge. Let's do this part too. Oh yeah, the roll up grind. The ride -ons. Did you bring a lot of wax? Oh yeah. And so I'm mostly, I'm mostly hitting this edge. Um, I will do a little bit of the tops too. For like blondes, I guess. Nose but... tails, blondes. And then I am gonna hit a little here. But for the most part, you want to hit where the most friction is going to be, exactly. and that's going to be. Now, I imagine if you're dealing with a curb that does not have any red paint on it, you're probably going to want to hit more of it. Yeah, you're going to want... Like, try to hit probably as far out as the red would go for your yep. nose slide and tail slide. But if it's already painted, its friction is going to be pretty low, so you'll be fine. Yeah, and if it doesn't have paint, you are going to have to work your rub brick a little harder. Yeah, you go a little deeper, a little lower. So I'm going to go the edge all the way to the end over there and then I'll come back and I'll probably hit our wheel spot okay and if I have more I'll do the top yeah I feel like the lower part of the ledge your wheel spot is the most neglected part of the ledge I've been to so many skate parks where people are like it doesn't no slide or tail slide I'm like that's because you're putting all the wax on top of the ledge and on the corner you got to right. wax where your wheel and base plate goes and passerbys probably think we're vandalizing yeah we're tagging it but if anything, we're kind of we're kind of doing a service to the school. I agree. Because we're doing it right. It's gonna grind, it's not gonna chunk up. Because if you just try to barge this thing and like bash into it, no wax, all Hesher style, you're gonna fuck up the curb. Yeah, yeah, you low card beanie wearing fools, you guys are ruining scabs good. <laughs> and now we'll hit our wheels really good. Oh, uh, you're already planning on some Nolly tail slides, aren't you? It also just it helps on crooks. I'm a big fan of like the slappy crook and switch crook. Yeah, same, same. And this is like, this is a key zone. Even though your your wheel is kind of rolling on a slappy crook. It still needs it's that. It's still um, kind of yeah. sliding. Yeah, all I'm looking at is a downhill switch slappy crook. Ooh, yeah. I also need to work on my front side slappy 50 50s. I always like end up in like a low C for the first millisecond. Oh, really? Yeah, I suck at them. I can normal like regular ledges, but on curbs, I always overshoot a little. I'm opposite. I, uh, Front side feels very comfortable. I lost backside. Really? Well, when I backside, I, I actually wall ride into it instead of like the slappy crook style into it. I'm a little cheap skater when it comes to that. I mean, I can do it the correct way. I just don't. It's just easier the other way. Unless, so I slappy 50-50 backside ledges the correct way, or not the correct way, but the way that most people do it. Um, but when I do curbs, I just bash into it. And I guess we should give a little disclaimer. If you're doing this, I mean, you might get in trouble. <laughs> yeah. So don't be like, Keen Ramps told me to do this. Yeah. We're not encouraging this by any means. In fact, we're just documenting us doing it. Do as we say, not as we do. Yeah. I'm more so representing myself as an individual here. You know, if, if anybody had a problem with this, any uh, legal repercussions is on me. Yeah. Not, not Keen Ramps. This is actually, it really falls back on Ronnie Krieger. Yeah. Uh, if you have any problems with what we're doing here, Rodney Krieger, find him because it's really his fault. I just realized this is a double sider if we dug it out a little bit. Yeah. Getting low on the uh, spray here. You said it'll be about 15 minutes to dry. I think so. Let's do some uh, do some landscaping. Get rid of this guy. You're welcome, school. They owe us. We should leave a bill. <laughs> now, if you're thinking to yourself, oh. I have a curb that doesn't have paint on it. Let me just paint it. The problem with that is if you paint it red, 
that's actually uh, telling people they can't park there, which uh, might be uh, some more legal clauses there. Use a clear. Yeah, use a clear. All right, I think she's ready for some yeah, wax. It feels pretty good. The only spot that's a little gummy is where I mixed. Oh, so this is still gummy right here. Yeah, this is still a little gummy. Um, Not that bad though. But yeah, this is feeling good. This this feels like relatively hardened. I mean, I'm sure it would be better to let it cure a lot longer. Yeah. Like but I think the correct thing to do is do like overnight. a paint brush with lacquer and let yeah. it dry like two days. Yeah. That's probably ideal. This but is the quick fix. This will work. Yeah, let's go straight into the wax. We were busy uh, learning Nolly Half Cab Crooks on the curb. Yeah, super fun. Dude, that, that curb right there is super good. So if this ends up anything like that curb, I'm stoked. Yeah. This one even has more of a slant to it. So we'll go, I'm gonna go kind of plentiful at first because we're gonna we're gonna knock a lot of this off onto our trucks. Immediately. What do you got there? Uh, this is just a Big Bear koozie. No, I mean, what kind of wax is that? Oh, it? nothing special. It's not like your golf wax. Don't make me, do I have to go grab my golf? golf I, I have, I brought a nugget because I knew how unprepared okay. you were gonna be. Okay, yeah. We'll use you, we'll get your shit out of the way first. Okay, fine. Basically what he's doing there is rubbing what belongs in here. <laughs> on the ledge. Now, I, I am very much like a, a wax connoisseur, oh golf wax. What? It goes on so nice, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, like this, oh, wow. This just glides on. Yeah, this is gonna go. I'm so excited to try this. So our goal is we want to try to switch Slappy Crook at least like half of it. That's what we want to do. Is that what we're gonna do? That's a different story. So should we give it a glide? Yeah, you want greens? You get greens. You're the one doing all the work. Always give the ball screens. I will do this though. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna go. Yeah, let's. Uh... Oh my god. Yeah, I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna go. Oh my god. That looks so fun. It's like ice. Really? Wow. So you stopped the wax right there, huh? Uh, stopped it. Yeah, right here. Oh. I'm not a very good front sider, but we'll see. I just saw you do like 30 of them. Yeah, but that was and lacquer. <laughs> okay. A little lean. I was, I was a little scared, a little scared. Yes. Yeah. It's so good. And it's not even worked in yet. Cause it's it's so cool too, cause like every grind it's gonna get a little bit better. Oh yeah. Beauty. Oh yes. Fantastic. Look at that thing, it's working in so nice. Dude. I bet you could front crook a good bit of it. Oh man. That feels so good. <laughs> Too icy? No, it's good. It turns out it's grinding so good, we're gonna wax more of it because it's, it's just too fun. We wanna grind further now. So we're just sessioning this thing and off camera, we're grinding past this crack now because it's so buttery, but we didn't rub brick right here. We just tried to wax it because we were feeling, I, I don't know. I just didn't think, I was like, 30 feet's a lot yeah. enough, but yeah, we, well, let's we, just go the whole way. Yeah, we keep ending up over here. Look at the difference though, like. So like. Listen how smooth that is. Like it's a, it's a huge difference when you're grinding. Like I keep getting past this crack, and the second I get to here, I just stick. And we wax it pretty good. So, yeah, rub brick is crucial. So we're blowing it. We we're supposed to warm up, but we've been skating this thing for like an hour. Uh, <laughs> I'd say we're warm. Yeah, I think I think we're in the cool down period. Yeah, to be maybe honest. We could get like like two pretty solid ones each. But yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, side the front crook. Let's see it. Let me do the switch crook first. Okay, switch crook. Oh my god. Oh! 
Oh my god. That felt good. Dude, that looks so good. Nolly tail for good measure. Nolly tail. Line still goes. Still goes. This is all one continuous clip. Until he fell on that slappy blunt slide that you didn't see. I didn't mean to point the camera over there. It's behind the scenes. Don't worry about what's going on over here. What you need to focus on is the fact that Corey's about to come over here. He's going to do a nolly tail slide and he's probably going to slide at least 10 feet. So sick. Sick one. Damn, that was a big old Wally. That's further than I expected. Yeah. You got freaking lifted on that one. So I would say that's uh everything you need to know to know how to make a perfect curb. This curb is absolutely amazing. We're actually gonna film a separate video on this curb, more focused on tricks. But uh, it's mostly an instru instructional on how to make the curb buttery. Thank you so much, Corey, for already knowing how to do that and doing all the work. <laughs> yeah. Um, dude, so fun. So yeah, uh, hopefully you found this helpful. Hopefully you wax up some curbs near you. Hopefully you have a good time. If you uh, have any interest, if you don't have a curb near you or you've ever any interest in a curb that's built for skating, we actually do sell a slappy curb manual pad. Uh, it has round coping on it, so it makes bashing up onto it pretty easy. Uh, the other side is a straight uh, square edge coping, so you can skate it like a ledge. That's five foot long, six five foot inches long. high. Five foot long, six inches high, which will give you pretty much the perfect curb height. Yeah, that's and, about five or six. Yeah, a absolutely. And perfect for learning slappy crooks or slappy 50 50s or any slappy trick you want to learn on a curb. Uh, but if not, use this technique to your local curb and uh, have a good time. Until next time, keenramps.com is where you can find all of our products.